While we are talking about weighing powder, we can't forget that little scales like this are also great for soldering components. Uh, here is an example of using the Creedmoor scale for sorting my primers. Uh, I happen to use the pound uh, units because I find it's a faster, easier way to put them into larger groups, which is all I'm after. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just really looking to sort out ones that are really on the high end or the low end. Uh, in this case, the difference between 76 and 78 is just over a tenth of a grain. And I think that's a pretty meaningful number when you look at differentiating them. So uh, I'm good with these uh, as they are. And this scale makes it really easy. Now, if I wanted to, I could certainly do this in grams or grains or carrots or whatever else I wanted to. If I wanted to find a number that works for me or units that work for me. Uh, again, I just like using pounds because it helps me just put them in simple steps. Uh, I do keep the powder pan in there only because it keeps the primer from rolling around and it keeps my primers pretty much centered up on the, uh, on the um, platen there. So that is just another great use for the Creedmoor scale. When I'm done sorting these, which is going to be a couple hours here because um, I'm doing a thousand of them, but when I'm done sorting them, I'm also going to show you how to use this scale uh, with its built-in counting function to see how many primers are on each uh, in each cup. So uh, we'll come back here in a minute. I'll show you that. 